Welcome to the Nintendo Wiretap. My name is Amiibo Jason, and on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about something I know very little about, but I know a lot of people are excited about this, and that is Hatsune Miku is coming to Nintendo Switch. So without further ado, let's take a look. Now, there's one thing about me you might not know, and that is I'm a sucker for rhythm games. In fact, when I was a kid and, and a teenager, and kind of an adult too, I was really into DDR. That's Dance Dance Revolution for you other kids that might not know about that series, but I was a big fan. And ever since those days, any rhythm game I can pick up, I usually do, and I really enjoy playing it. Now, there is one rhythm game I've never had the opportunity to play, but it looks like that might change. And that is, of course, Hatsune Miku. Now, Hatsune Miku is a vocalist, an anime character. She's really done a lot of things. In fact, she's had holographic concerts in the past in Japan. And of course, she's been starring in the Project Diva series of video games now for 10 years. That's right, 10 years. Now, to mark the 10th anniversary, a new game has been announced, and for the very first time, it's coming to Nintendo Switch. It's called Mega 39s, and the game is going to include 101 songs, including past favorites, new tracks, and even an all-new song made just for this game. And of course, what anime-inspired game would be complete without a whole bunch of costumes to dress her in? In fact, it has 300 costumes that are going to be included for the Nintendo Switch version of this game. Finally, if you're excited about this game, there are some mysterious new modes coming for the Switch, but at this point, we don't know what those modes are. Now, like I said before, Hatsune Miku doesn't look like a bad game to me, it's just never really appealed to me, but after watching this trailer, it does kind of look like fun, so I'm planning on picking this one up when it comes out sometime in early 2020. Now, at this point, we only know that it's coming to Japan, but if you want to import it, you can always pick up either a Japanese eShop code card or head over to a site like PlayAsia.com and import it from there. So, there you go. If you're a Hatsune Miku fan, get ready for a brand new adventure on the Nintendo Switch. If you are a fan of this game, I really want to know, what do you think about this? Do you think it's a game that maybe I would like? Let me know your thoughts on this series in the comments down below. And if you're planning on picking it up, let me know that too. And that's going to wrap up tonight's Nintendo Wiretap. I'll see you soon with yet another episode, but as always, until then, stay wired in. Bye, guys. Wow.